By quantifying aspects of Microris coral snake anti-predator displays, we can better understand the role of behavior in predator deterrence. Biologists hypothesize that venomous coral snakes and their mimics use a combination of red and black color patterns and vigorous thrashing behaviors to deter predation. The effect of color pattern on predation has been studied using stationary models that maintain imprints from predators. However, the behavioral aspect has only been described qualitatively. Thrashing behavior is difficult to quantitatively characterize because environmental factors affect snake behaviors, coral snakes exhibit extreme curvatures and self-occlusions, and placing motion tracking markers on snakes changes how they behave. In this work, we present the first quantitative analysis of coral snake anti-predator motion. We characterize coral snake, not mimic, behavior because we first need to quantify intraspecific variation and interspecific variation in the Microris genus before we can compare between models and mimics. We conducted five herpetological surveys in the Amazonian lowlands of Peru. The surveys lasted one month long each at four different sites and we encountered five coral snake species. We captured video of snakes in their natural habitat and in a pop-up arena in a field lab. We evoked anti-predator responses to simulated predator signals. We recorded 160 behavioral trials across 25 coral snakes. First, we examined whether the snake responded to stimulus at all. We found that some species performed displays more often than others, and that larger snakes thrashed less frequently. If a snake did perform a display, we next found the thrash duration. We found that all snakes use generally short thrash durations. Contact evoked the longest thrashes, and thrash duration increased with snake length. We also computed the curvature along the body at each post-thrash posture. Across all five species, we found the highest curvatures near the head, and no obvious preference for a left or right head kink. Looming evoked the curviest post-thrash postures, and members of Lemniscatus had the highest curvature. The variation in each of these features is surprising, because we expect strong purifying selection on anti-predator signals. However, the lethal levels of toxicity in Mycura snakes may allow for greater trait variation. Now that we've developed a framework for quantifying coral snake behavior, we can begin comparing between models and mimics.